Okay, well, I'm tinkering with the friggin' V-dub. It's friggin' crazier as frig. I did the uh, max fuel mod. It's that screw there, it had a collar on it. What you gotta do is you gotta break that uh, 13 mil nut off. You gotta loosen it off, unscrew that guy. It's got a collar on it. All I did for that was uh, put it in my vise and hit it with a hammer and uh, friggin' Bob's your uncle, collar's off. So anyways, with that done, I started to wind it in like uh, it says to on the forums. Um, but when you do that, when you wind that in, your idle increases. So I went over to there. Right there is your idle, your low idle control. As you can see, it's got a little, well, it's connected right there, and it's just, that's the lowest point your idle can be. I've got it wound right down. In fact, uh, I don't even think it's touching. See? Oh look, you can tell. Okay, anyways, so the more I wound that in, I, I just I wound it in maybe four turns. Fired the car up, and she was at like 3,000 RPM, and I shut her off immediately because it was still climbing. So I backed the screw off, fired her up again, and then she was back to normal. So uh, I wound her in a little bit. The more you wind that in, the more your RPMs increase. But then I found that guy, that screw right there. I have no idea what that does, but the more I wound that out, the more the RPMs dropped. It's connected down to a little thing there, and I guess that's your your choke or something, because that, uh, right there you can see that there's a cable that runs all the way into the, the cab, and that's what this guy does. I, on, I still don't know what that does, but what, you can't start it with it in, well I can't, I don't know, but um, as soon as it fires up, I pull that and then it's like more stable RPM, I guess it just increases RPM, so, um, yeah, so anyways, I wound that screw down and, uh, yeah, then I could screw the throttle in a lot, or the max fuel screw in a little bit more, so. And then I went and took her for a, a good burn down the friggin' dirt road there, and she's chooching a lot more black out the exhaust pipe, but uh, honestly, she had way more power. Oh, look, you can tell. That's like soot. People were talking about soot or haze. Uh, I'm not quite sure what they meant by that, but this is, this is obviously soot. It's not a haze. Um... I think if it's soot, it's okay, but if it's a haze, it means it's burning too hot. One thing I need to get for this car is a pyrometer, an exhaust gas temperature meter. Because with the mods that I'm doing, it's kind of risky, because you could easily jump up in exhaust temperature. I think these things will handle up to 1600 degrees Fahrenheit before they start to melt stuff internally. Um, so I'm trying to sell that guy right now and then once I sell that then I'll be able to buy a couple gauges. I'm going to buy a better goop, a better boost gauge. Apologize. Because I got that one teed in off there and I just got it friggin' duct taped to the friggin' dash but it doesn't have any markings on it. But I can easily max that out. And before I was using this, it's just a tire pressure gauge, but I was hitting about 10 or 11 PSI with it, so... Friggin' right. I want to be sitting maybe 16 to 20, but, um... I gotta keep an eye on the EGT. I'm also building... Apologize, it was my work car I friggin' was eating in her, but, um... Yeah, I'm building this. It's a boost controller. What it uh, basically does is you plumb this in between your blow off valve or the uh the wastegate apologize the wastegate and your uh boost or whatever this side i think goes to the boost and this guy this side goes to wastegate um i'll show you guys the internals of that this is gonna be one freaking long clip i apologize for that
Okay, but okay, I found another ball bearing, but you need one ball bearing and a spring. The spring isn't long enough, but a ball bearing sits in there, or on that one, sorry. And um, this is just a set screw, basically. Uh, you can see it in there. If I can get it aligned right. Son of a bitch. Okay, you can see the more I turn that in, the more it threads in. I'm gonna back her right off, she opens up. But um, the ball bearing sits inside there against that hole. And the spring goes in between the screw, or the bolt, and the ball bearing. When you wind her in, you increase the spring tension, which in turn requires more pressure to open it up to let the air through. So it's a boost controller. And then I'll be able to friggin' max that guy out. But, uh, yeah, I got the wrong size fittings. I need uh, a little bit bigger fittings. But then I'm gonna need bigger ball bearings because they won't fit in. Holy jumpy camera, Batman. Anyways, I'm gonna end this clip now. Well, um, it's Saturday now. I was supposed to work today. I went in and uh, laser's still broken. Anyways, um, so I've been tinkering with the motor a bunch. Uh, I installed my boost controller right there. Um, it works freaking awesome. I got it set to uh, about, well, supposed to be set to 15 to 18, but it's set at 20, which I guess is all right. Um, another thing though, this under here, I don't know if it'll, there we go. That is a blow off valve. The stock one is set to about 12 pounds. So when I had this thing set up and going, this was still plumbed into there. The boost would go up to 15, then it would drop down to um, like 8 or something, then it would go 15, 8, 15, 8, and the motor would just be like, rrr, 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 like that. Um, then I did some reading on the forum and everybody's like, yeah, you gotta block off your friggin' blow-off valve. So I just stuck a, a brass plug in there and friggin' zap strapped her on and now I can hit friggin' 20 pounds. Friggin' right. She hauls. Oh my goodness, it's freaking cold outside today. <coughs> it's like minus 20 or something right now. God, oh, it's cold. So I, um... I took this boost pin out and I flipped it around so it's the more aggressive angle again. And um, took her out for a little romp on the highway and she friggin' just, just gives her. Uh, I'm gonna be doing some exhaust here pretty quick because the stock stuff sucks. That's not a good sign. That's probably from before. It's just black soot. That, uh, means you're burning it way too rich and you can up your exhaust gas temps and then melt your pistons and stuff. Don't really want to be doing that so I'm going to have to fix that. Also I'm going to be getting an intercooler pretty quick because I friggin need one because friggin uh, yeah I just I need one. I'll probably be putting her in in there, something running her up the front or something. I don't know, figure something out. Maybe, maybe along there or something. This girl keeps falling off too, so. Well, falling off, but whatever. And then I could maybe come up here with the piping or whatever and, oops. That's stuff that you shouldn't leave on top of the battery. <laughs> Conductive stuff, yeah. And then, uh, yeah, so I'll probably be coming up off the turbo, over the motor, down into there, and then uh, back out this side, I'll have to figure something out to, I don't know, maybe something like that, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if people are running their friggin' turbos and stuff. Maybe I can come off the turbo like that over to this side and then up to there into the uh, manifold. But uh, I'll figure that out later. I gotta work on the exhaust now. Well, not now, but you know what I mean. Yeah, it's just toasty.
Freaking snails. I love them. Uh, yeah. So, freaking rights exhaust. This stuff, the stock stuff sucks. So I'll be fixing that soon. And then another thing I want to do is the glow plug mod. You guys can see my glow plugs. There's one. Uh, there's another one. And then these, these ones are a little bit easier to get to. There's one down in there. Somewhere. Right there. And then the last one is just right there. Um, this bus bar thing that it's got going on sucks. And there's the uh, glow plug fuse. It's a 50 amp fuse. What this one guy did is he ran this wire, the one that goes right to the glow plugs, he ran it to a starter solenoid. And then uh, he ran four gauge wire off the battery to the solenoid. And then from the other post on the solenoid to a four, four fuse block. And then from each fuse block, he'll run uh, 10 gauge wire to each one. So that way you can tell if uh, one's not working properly or whatever, or if you pop a fuse or something. Uh, yeah, because right now she doesn't really like cold mornings, so oh, actually those injectors look pretty new, and they're still shiny, other than the grease covering them, but whatever, so that's what I've been up to, I'm thinking uh, I'll probably get the hood sled running, hood sled, get her all welded up, and then Maybe if it warms up a little bit today, go for a little hood sled romp. Yeah.